Moments with C.S. Lewis Great Caution From his book, The Weight of Glory What should I do about this little voice inside me that urges great caution? Not caution from danger, but rather caution from surrendering all. I mean, I say my prayers, I read a book of devotions, I attend church, I read my Bible. But while I do these things, there is, so to speak, a voice inside of me that urges caution. It tells me to be careful, don't get too involved, don't sell out to the idea of Christianity, don't get in so deep to it that it might affect, well my lifestyle, my priorities, the way I like to do things. I mean, imagine that I did. Imagine that when I sang, I surrender all, that I actually did. Imagine that I didn't just surrender that which suited me, not just surrender that which was convenient to me, not just surrender that which was comfortable for me to surrender, but actually did surrender my speech, my thoughts, my passions, my interests, my pastimes. I don't want to be carried away by, well, anything like that, which, well, frankly, I might be feeling quite different about come breakfast this time tomorrow. No, I think it's better that I listen to this inside voice of caution. I need to think about the here and now, the temporal, if you like. These eternal matters, well, they can't be that important because I've avoided them. I've put them off so successfully in the past. How can they be that important? Or should I? Should I actually do what I keep singing about? I mean, do I actually know when my temporal time will come to an end for me? Should I perhaps just release this caution to the wind? What if right now eternal matters are cautioning me to act while I can? Makes sense, would you agree?